Okay, hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to have a look at how you can set up new income and expense accounts in the chart of accounts. So from time to time, something is gonna come along, a transaction that you're going to have to enter and you're trying to find the correct income account or the correct expense account and it just doesn't really fit anywhere and you really wanna have its own specific account because you want it to show as a separate line item on the P&L. So to do that, you're going to have to set up a new account. So to do that, you go to the accounts section of the command center and you click on accounts list. So this is where you have access to all of the chart of accounts here. So we've got assets, liabilities, equities, income, expenses. So let's look at the income. So you can go into existing accounts here and change the settings and you can also add new accounts. Let's say that we have a new type of income that we want to show separately on the P&L, but there's no account here for it. So we need to set up a new account. So let's go new, account type income. You can change the type here. And let's have a look at the number sequence. So we're gonna go for 4,000. So it's the next one down the line. For 4,000. And we're going to call it service A. And this is a detail account. We go to details, the default tax code is going to be GST. And the description, you can put that in here, that's optional. And then we'll click okay. So here you can see we've got service A for 4,000. And let's say that this one here is a different kind of service that we want it to be split out on the P&L. So that'll be service B. Okay, so let's record a transaction. To shortcut to receive money, we go control D. Here we are, we're going to enter a transaction for $500. And it's going to be actually service A is the one we want. That's the new account that we created. And we'll hit record. So if we go back to our chart of accounts here, we'll refresh. We can see we got 454. That's $500 less the GST in the service A account, the one we just created. And there was already $100 in stock income there. So if we run a profit and loss now, okay, you can see we got stock income 100, service A 454. Now you might have noticed here when we set this up, we set it up as a detail account. The difference between a detail and a header account is the individual accounts here are all detail accounts. These are the accounts that you code the transactions to when you're entering transactions. A header account is just a summary account. For example, income, if we go in here, it'll show us that it's a header account. And all a header account does is add up all of the stuff below it that is sitting in that group, that account group, and it just adds it all up. So you got 100 and 454 to make 554 sitting in the header account. Expenses are quite straightforward as well, pretty much the same process. So if you want to set up a new account, say it's, uh, we're going to put it in here, 628.50. And we're just going to call it test account. But it could be for anything. And the tax code is going to be GST free as a default. There it is. Test account. Now you might be wondering what these up and down buttons here are. This moves stuff from the left to the right on your reports. So if we have a look at the profit and loss here that we generated before, 
you can see all these expenses here are sitting a little bit over to the right from these ones but if we click the up button then they all come into line and these ones here we'll click the up button and they're coming over to the left and to show you how that looks we need to just enter a test transaction on the bank fee so we'll do that now control h is the shortcut to spend money record that we'll control tab back to the chart of accounts accounts list here to update that we can see here we got 20 in bank fees 20.99 in advertising and you'll see here how advertising is a little bit over to the right compared to bank fees now let's run a profit and loss and i'll show you what i mean we can see here that advertising is sitting over on the left so is wages and other payroll expenses but bank fees is sitting over on the right here and that looks a bit funny we want everything to be in alignment and preferably in alignment with the income so it just reads straight down so let's see if we can do that we want to bring everything over to where the uh, bank fees account is let's have a look at that so we'll move the advertising up yes and the wages maybe we'll leave it there let's have a look at the PL again and see what it looks like so we'll refresh that and then now you can see advertising and bank fees are in alignment and then wages the payroll stuff the accounts here that are grouped under payroll expenses are over to the left but then the total for payroll is over on the right so that's okay i'm happy with that but if we wanted to move everything over to the right including these wages and other payroll expenses let's have a look at that so to do that we just come in here and we click the up button and now and now we can see it's moved over to the left here in line with everything else so let's go back to the PL. We'll run that again and see how that changed it. And now we can see everything has come over into the right. But the difference now is that because everything has been brought into alignment in the chart of accounts here, the wages and other payroll, the payroll grouping isn't being separated out under the header account here, payroll expenses. So we might actually move that back over. Now, as you can see here, if we click on the bottom account here, the one we want to move over, it won't let us move it. The buttons are grayed out. So what we have to do, we actually have to move the whole lot over. So a little bit fiddly, but we'll get there. There you go. We'll go back to the profit and loss. We'll run that again. All right, so now we can see we've got our detail account totals here. And then you've got a total for general expenses, a subtotal. And then we got our payroll expenses, the different group here over on the left. And then we've got the subtotal for payroll expenses over on the right. So that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in the description. You can go over to our website and book in a training session from there. Other than that, we'll catch you later.